decorative paneling is an affordable, stylish way to add warmth and texture to your space. It's also easy to install. Here's what you'll need. And keep in mind, sheet paneling comes in a wide variety of styles, patterns, and textures. First, measure the wall space so you'll know how many of the 4 by 8 foot sheets of paneling you'll need. Divide the length of each wall by the width of the panel you plan to use. For example, a 12 foot long wall with 8 foot ceilings would require 3 sheets of this paneling. Before getting started, carefully remove any existing trim or crown molding you plan to use again. Then, remove outlet covers, switch plates, and any nails from the wall. Next, using a stud finder and painter's tape, mark the stud locations on the floor so they'll be visible during installation. Next, with a helper, temporarily place the panel on the wall. The starter panel must be perfectly square so the rest line up correctly during installation. Once it's level and plumb, mark the wall along the edge of the panel, so you'll know where to install it later. If necessary, you may need to cut a panel to fit the wall, or accommodate wall outlets and switches. Use a jigsaw with a fine-toothed saw blade to avoid splitting or fraying the panel. Then, do a test fit to make sure the openings line up correctly. Next, apply construction adhesive to the back of each panel, then press it into place. Once all the panels are up, secure with finishing nails into the studs. Finally, add baseboards and trim, fill nail holes, and caulk visible gaps to give your new paneling a seamless, professionally installed look. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.